Hi there. Welcome to Work With Me Wednesday. It is Wednesday, December 29th. Got my new gloves, so they fit a little better. Remember last week? I think it was last week. They were a little bit too tight. Okay, hang on. I need to fix this so it isn't crooked because that's going to drive me crazy. All right. Hi guys, welcome to the last, yes, it is the last Work With Me Wednesday of 2021. So thank you so much for your support throughout the year. I know I just started doing the lives, gosh, I wanna say spring, summer of this year? I haven't done a full year yet. So um, the support uh, of people watching the videos is crazy to me, but thank you so much for coming along on this fun ride. Um, 2022 is, I guarantee, it's a year that is going to challenge me creatively that I'm very, very excited about. So, and hopefully that translates into really neat new products uh, for you guys, still handmade by me, uh, still my brand, uh, but just some really, really neat and different stuff. So I'm very excited about it, but I can't get too excited about it and I can't get you too excited about it because it's not something that I'm going to announce next week. It's going to take months for me to figure out. But in the meantime, I'm also figuring out my social media, getting better and better at it, hopefully. Um, and uh, it, I've got some really um, neat ideas uh, as I'm learning out, learning how to use my social media to connect with you guys more. So um, expect more exciting stuff from things that I already do as well on my Work With Me Wednesday. So next week we will be delving into my wild and crazy world of soap. Um, I don't think I've ever made soap on here. I don't think so. I think I've done melt and pour, but I've never done like my, my um, cold process soap so that's gonna be there's gonna be lots of neat designs coming through with that and I'll be making those online as well um, and yeah just having a lot of fun so anyways hi welcome my name's Lana I'm the owner maker chief bottle washer at the Hartmont Candle Company and um, today we are making eggs <laughs> you're like what <laughs> you should have seen the look uh, that I gave uh, <laughs> Or that my son gave me when I went, look what I made. And he was like, what is that? It looks like food. And I was like, exactly. So um, this week, uh, I'm because it is the end of the year and we're still finishing off like with sales and just a few of the products that um, I want to like get out the door basically. So those are, that's going to be my free promo uh, until next Wednesday. And then I guarantee I will have something new and fun. For you then as well but it's not like if you're ordering this week you're gonna get some duds because there's some really cool stuff and I am also working on uh, my subscription gift boxes this week because those start to go out the first of January second of January whatever second would be a Sunday so I want to say the third of January third or fourth they'll start to go out horror of horrors today <laughs> because it is like Christmas week like do we even know what day of the week it is anymore so I, the only way I know this week is because of today and I'm like video Wednesday um, but uh, I like Monday I think was the holiday I think because Christmas fell on the Saturday so then but then Tuesday my shipping didn't work like my um, I don't want to say app but like my program for like shipping because I do all my shipping at home and then I take it over to Canada Post it didn't work yesterday and I was like well maybe it's because they're still on holidays and so I left it I tried not to overreact just went okay try again tomorrow try today which tomorrow was today and again it didn't work and nothing can give you a headache faster than your programs not working the way they should when they've worked for like two years straight am I right thank you <laughs> so that's what I had to deal with this morning. So I have a massive, like, you know how you get the headache right here? It's like, yeah, I got a massive headache right there. And then somebody sent me something like, symptom of if you have the da, 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 headache. And I was like, no, my headache is a symptom of my shipping not working. Thank you very much for caring about me. But anyway, okay, so today we are making, because my theme for January is 
not that we're partying this year because everybody's kind of laying low, you know, staying safe. Um, but I was like, okay, we're going to do like hangover-y kind of foods, sort of, like breakfast. Because I didn't want to do like a party kind of thing. So, ta-da! <laughs> it's an egg. I know, right? And I love this one so much because I don't know if you can see, but do you see the little dot <laughs> right there? Like it's just a little bit of the color and didn't blend really, really well. And you know how your eggs, sometimes the yolk can have like little red blood spots in them? It looks like that. And I was like, okay, this is pretty, pretty great. But that is not edible. It is not a cookie. It is not icing. This is bubble bar. So this is the one you're going to chop up um, and put it in a strainer and hold it under hot water and it will make a big bubbly foaming wonderful um bath for you so a bubble bath basically a hard bubble bath so today we are doing the egg oh and we're finishing off remember how last week we were doing the toast the pieces of toast hang on i just have to be careful how i grab it so i airbrush them put it so this is bath bomb it's a little bit darker, so my first round is gonna be, ooh, we kinda sort of burnt the toast. It's okay, it smells great, it's maple pecan. Um, and then the bubble bar on top is a pat of butter, right? So um, I'm gonna show you how I do the pat of butter, and then we're gonna get to work. Oh no, we're gonna start the egg first because we gotta go white, then yellow. We can't go yellow and back to white, that's not the way it works. Okay, so, all right. So to make the base for the egg, I've got um, my bubble bar recipe here pre-made. And basically all I have to do is hydrate it a little bit. And it's definitely the holidays though, right? Like not a lot of people are around. My regulars, I'm like, hey guys, come say hi. And they're, they're like, no, we're out doing our thing. And I'm like, okay, respect. It is so ridiculously cold. Um, got up and walked Penny this morning. It was minus 42. So, hi Carrie. Nice to see you. Minus 42 for reference uh, for like my uh, customers who are not Canadian or are not familiar with Fahrenheit or Celsius, sorry. Celsius and Fahrenheit are the same at minus 40. There's your little fun factoid of the day which means minus 42 is dang. It's cold, super, super cold. Okay, so I added in my rubbing alcohol just to make it, it's almost like uh, working with clay, putty, kind of, sort of. And you just gotta get it to that consistency where you can hand mold it. And with the egg, like bubble bar anyways, like if you ever see them at some of like the big companies out there that sell them, it always has like a cracked kind of texture to it. That's kind of how you tell the difference between is what is this? Is it bubble bar? Is it a bath bomb? What is it? It will be, I don't know if you can see, but okay, hang on. Hopefully you can see, but can you see like, it's almost like cracked along the edges. That's, that's naturally what bubble bar does. If I wanted to be really anal, I could smooth it, but you know what? It's not that big a deal. So what I do is, and this is all kind of, just roughly figuring out like the size. Hence why when, when I put my products together, I'm like approximately four ounces. Cause I know roughly what three or four ounces um, looks like. So I get like my padded, this is the egg white. The yolk is the yellow. Okay, so I get my padded base and basically, can you see here? Yeah, so then what I do Instead of like, we're not going for a nice round cookie. We are going for something that is totally misshapen. So you kind of just squish in the sides, being careful not to make it look like a flower. Like it's, it's, it's one of those weird things where um, you've got to, wait, I should do this on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll do it on like one of these. Um, you don't want it to be perfect, which is so, as a maker, that's such a hard thing to do, to make something purposefully not look perfect. 
it's really, really hard. So um, when I was making the pumpkins at Halloween and doing like the trendles, hi Graham, nice to see you. Are you freezing in Winnipeg? I'm sure you are. It actually warmed up. I just checked now before I went live and it's like minus 32 in Gimli. So whoo -hoo. the sun comes out and it's a, a little bit nicer. I just honestly, I just want to crawl under a blanket and be like, okay, see you guys in the spring. That's how I react when it's this cold. But basically, you're just patting it, and then if I don't like the cracks, I just spray it, and um, you just smooth it a little bit. And it gets rid of the cracks. Like, it kind of just melts the bubble bar a little bit, and you end up with your base for your egg, right? Okay? So there's my base. All right, so we'll put that over there. Easy peasy, right? All right, so now we're going for, so that was this part. Hi, Sharon, how are you? Happy New Year. Um, so that was the base, because it does harden up, right? Now we're gonna go for like the half C yolk. <laughs> What's the thing that sits on the top? Yolk, the yolk lana, that's what it is. Um, now are we gonna do the yolk or are we gonna do the butter first? We're gonna do the butter pat first because as much as I like that yolk, and I do like it, um, you know how you buy the eggs? I wanna say they're organic, I'm not sure. It could just be like super farm fresh, but they kinda of almost are like a bright, almost orange kind of color. And because the pat of butter is the same color as the egg yolk originally, I'm like, I want to differentiate just a little bit, but I need one more pat of butter. So let's, let's do the pat of butter and then I'll add in a little bit of orange, which is right up there. I'll go grab that. So I'll be right back. Hang on. Oh, I am behind the camera now. Right. So hopefully y'all had a, a good Christmas and good holiday, though we're all kind of still in holiday mode. Don't stick your hand in the mixer when it's on, Lana. Got it. Got it. Okay. We've got um, a... Uh, it's a bread cutter was the intent, but you can also slice meat with it. And uh, my son goes, that looks like something we're gonna cut a finger off with. And I'm like, shush you. It works really great. Um, okay, so we've got the yellow. Speaking of things that can mangle your fingers. All right, so I have a teeny tiny little mold. And here's where um, 3D printers become super awesome because this is made with a 3D printer. Minus 37, no way, it can't be minus 37 in Winnipeg right now. It can't be warmer in, Winni or in Gimli, is it? It's possible, it's possible. I know we're, we're in the same place, but it's very, very different. Okay, got it a little too wet. Don't panic, it's all good because I have more. So, hang on, I'm gonna swap out gloves because I'm gonna take a little bit of the white and put it into the yellow. I don't know how much. It's kind of like baking with your grandma. You just spitball it. But yeah, remember this? This is actually the bottom half of, remember the snowman I was making before Christmas? Okay, hang on, I gotta grab another glove here. So that's the half mold of the little, um, snowman head and I was like we don't need the whole mold this time around but this is like the little half version so um, yeah 3d printers are pretty cool all right so we've got this we're not sticking our hand in when the mixer is on that would be bad all right there we go hi Shelby nice to see you Hopefully the cold doesn't stay and it's gone in a few days. Because even Penny and I were like, yeah, no, we're not making it to the beach day. We went out for a little bit and I was like, all right, this is really, really cold. Can we go back in? And she was like, do we have to? 
because she's got a big thick fur coat. I do not, however, so I'm like, yeah, no, we're going in where it's warm. I didn't even want to get out of bed this morning. All right, so put the mold in, or the, um, not the mold, put the bubble bar into the mold. And it just gives you this little free form. It's an, it's an egg yolk, right? But guess what? We're not doing egg yolks. Because <laughs> remember I said I was going to color it? Yeah. <sighs> Is your brain foggy? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Okay. So instead, we are going to do a pat of butter. Can you see this? Sort of? Yes? Yes. Okay, so really simple. Yeah, just pat it out and you cut it into a square with your handy dandy knife. Put the yellow back in, find my piece of toast. Ignore the yellow on my gloves, but there's your pad of butter. And so I've got my little piece of toast over there that I will add that to momentarily. So the egg, I want it, like the yellow is good, don't get me wrong, the yellow is good. I just want it like just a titch, like do you see how much I'm adding? Like next to nothing. I'm even like, is that too much? Okay. Just teeny, 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 tiny, tiny amount of orange, which is actually yellow six. These are all skin safe, by the way. And it just, okay, we can, we can be brave. We're going to add a little bit more. It just makes the yellow a little brighter. <laughs> if I put in too much, I don't think so. I'm just, I'm going for, you know, you know that, that egg yolk that I'm talking about, um, with your, either organic or farm fresh eggs where the yolks are just this they're just almost an orangey color but it's still yellow yeah this is it okay so i should do the before and after hang on let's get this in here all right all right, all right. can you see see the difference like it's it's very much like it's still yellow do a glump of it here. It's still yellow, but I want something I can pick up, but my fingers are dirty. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. My fingers aren't dirty, my gloves are dirty, and I don't want to transfer between my gloves onto white, if that makes sense. So here's, hang on. Going through a lot of gloves today, wow. Yes, we are. Here's the original yellow and can you see it on camera I don't know if you can but it's just got that little bit more of an orange element to it right so these are like our farm fresh eggs okay sorry about that putting gloves back on okay this one we are now going to make into the top for our egg yolk so yeah that's my theme for January and once January is like the next week's rolled through. Gosh, time flies when you're having fun, right? Uh, once the next week is done, then we move on to Valentine's Day. So then it's going off to hearts and gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do for Valentine's Day. I like I want to do a little bit traditional, but I don't know. There's a part of me that's like, okay, let's do something a little different too. So we'll see what I can come up with. And after Valentine's Day is, I want to say Easter. I think, and then Mother's Day, and then summer hits, and then it's fall, and Halloween, and then Christmas again. Yeah. Welcome to the retail world. It's pretty much how we live. Okay, so egg yolk, that nice, vibrant, orangey yellow. I think that's the best way to describe this, orangey yellow. just don't want to get any more orange into this than is already in it. So then you cut off the top like so. Whoops. 
sorry, as I drop the knife. And then you're left with this little yoke, right? And I would promise I won't do any punny yokes. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, and then you take the egg and Oh, I love this one too, because it's got like little flecks of orange in it. You know how you get like those little tiny flecks of whatever in your egg yolk? So to me, that just looks really natural. Okay, and then you kind of press down the edges so that it looks like more natural, not like something sitting on top of the egg. And you don't worry, like I don't worry about the cracks right now. And ta-da, one fried egg promise you it tastes horrible but it's bubble bar I didn't scent it uh, the toast is maple pecan because I figured you know what you could do a, a combination and also um, when I'm working with white I'm very acutely aware of the white morphing um, if it has like if I put a scent in it that has vanilla uh, in it which maple pecan has a touch of vanilla in it so you just have to be really careful so anyways I'm gonna do up a bunch of eggs and I got to do some more toast and then I'm for my soap I'm gonna do I think an orange slice and so it's gonna be kind of like a breakfasty kind of thing so I will let you guys run um, that's pretty much all I've got here um, next home delivery dates I have little notes now because I after um, I after I hang up the phone <laughs> Yes, I am that old. After we end the live, um, I go, oh shoot, I forgot to tell about whatever, right? So next home delivery is January 16th. Um, I decided to do two in January because of the further restrictions here in Manitoba. So I was just gonna do um, January uh, 23rd. I think I was gonna do one delivery in January, but because of the shutdowns, I figured let's do January 16th and January 30th. So those are my next two home deliveries for Winnipeg. Minimum order is $50 free delivery. So if you want to hop on board and grab that, um, go for it. I appreciate it. And if you want to order online, free shipping over $100. So thanks so much, you guys, for checking in. It's nice to see you. Happy New Year. And we will talk next Wednesday when we will work again. But next time we'll be making soap. So see you then. Stay safe. Have a great week. Bye, guys.